What is going on everybody? It's Alex back with another video and today I want to talk about some more leaks that we just got on Red Dead Redemption 2 online. So these are more leaks coming from data mining of the companion app and once again as always I will have the link down below but basically we learned a little bit more about what we're going to be able to experience day one in the online mode. So if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so. I will be keeping you guys updated on Red Dead Redemption 2, Red Dead Online, and pretty much any other game out there. So let's get right into the video. So as you can see right here, we have a whole bunch of lines of code that all say multiplayer. So obviously this is Red Dead Online. This is not the single player. These are things that pertain to the online mode. And a lot of it is actually kind of cool. Like at the top, you see info players. Obviously, that means it's just going to give you info on, you know, who's in the game, stuff like that. Um, you get switch respawn. Um, there, there's a whole lot of stuff. If you look down, you can see spectate player next, spectate player previous, hide HUD. All of these things, you know, very basic what you would see in multiplayer. But there are a few things that I think are a little more important that we need to talk about. So it looks like some of the lines of code in here are basically just options you have when you die in a 1v1. So you have four options if you get killed. So the first option is to inform the law. So obviously that means, I assume that means you're putting a bounty on them. Because obviously you're essentially trying to turn them in. I imagine that'll put a bounty in them, which could actually add for a lot of fun in multiplayer. It's, it seems to be like an anti-grief type thing so if people really don't want to get killed and you were just killing them over and over again it'll actually give them an incentive to stop uh, so i imagine that's what that is obviously it gives you the option to just respawn it gives you an option to duel which is really cool i think a lot of people have wanted you know real duels and online i think that'll be a lot of fun and then it gives you the option to parlay just call it truce so four options on um on death that's actually kind of cool so it looks like buried in the middle of this lines of code, you have an ability. So it says input multiplayer predator ability. So we don't know exactly what this means. This is a lot of speculation, but a lot of people are thinking that it has something to do with hunting. You know, it may be some of the tracking. It may be some kind of stealth mode, something like that. But we think it has something to do with, with uh, hunting. Once again, we are not sure, but it seems kind of interesting. There's going to be abilities in online, which could greatly impact how you play it. So the last thing I want to talk about in this video is the mission type. So if you guys have played GTA 5, there are quite a few types of mission types. There's mission, deathmatch, race, survival, capture, last team standing, and parachuting. So there's quite a few. There's seven types of missions and then obviously a lot of variations within that. And in Red Dead 2, at least starting off, we have three. So mission, deathmatch, and race. Now, these are all kind of things you would expect, and I'm sure as time goes on, there will be so many more options added into the game. But it looks like as of right now, hell, there may even be more options when the game starts, but as of right now, we have mission, deathmatch, and race. So mission is going to be basically what you would expect. It's basically going to be like a co-op campaign type deal. You're going to you know go to someone, have an objective, whether it's a heist, whether it's you know a job you have to complete, whatever. And then you complete it either solo or with your friends. Then deathmatch is, again, exactly what you would think. Um, where it's just two teams pit together, fight <laughs> fight for end. You know, everyone's just killing each other. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure I'll mess around with that a lot. And then races, which, honestly, I don't know if I'm excited for or not. GTA races are a lot of fun, but you have cars and the stunt races and stuff like that. When it's just horses... I don't really know what to expect. Maybe it'll be like deathmatch races where you have like the Gatling guns on the back. You have one driver, one racer. I think that could be a lot of fun, uh, but I don't really know how that's going to work out. But there are going to be races in Red Dead Online. I think everyone kind of saw that coming. So unfortunately, we still don't have a release date for online coming out. It really, really bothers me. I want to know when it's coming out. There's someone on YouTube. I'm not going to throw him under the bus, uh, but he seems to think that it's common knowledge that it comes out on the 18th. But there's been no official statements, and I haven't heard anybody else even have a date in mind, so I don't know where he's coming up with this 18th. It sounds pretty likely, though. It may be coming around around that time, maybe coming out around that time. Uh, but as of right now, we still have no official confirmation on when it comes out. So we're just going to be getting leaks until then. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for the support. Peace out, guys.